Top left on this slide, we have the ester starting material. Down the bottom on the left-hand side, you can see the carboxylic acid. An alcohol is becoming detached from that ester during the hydrolysis process. Your eye should be drawn into the middle of the slide for the step where that alcohol is coming out. It's in here, we have a protonated structure breaking out in the closing stages of the mechanism. So this is an equilibrium. It can go backwards and forwards in either direction. And the control is to do with what you use in excess or what you remove. If you want to make the hydrolysis happen, then you use an excess of water. And you can see from the top of that slide, as in the example last time, the water is acting as a nucleophile. It's a neutral nucleophile, so it's a relatively weak nucleophile. And the first step is the acid-catalyzed activation of the electrophile. So there's our electrophilic carbon-oxygen polar multiple bond. You can see the protonation reaction to produce a cationic structure, which is more reactive, more electrophilic than the neutral one. Reactive enough now to react with the weak nucleophile. Water is being used as a solvent in this hydrolysis reaction. It's there in huge excess. I flagged up the step where the alcohol is becoming detached. That's the fate of the OR prime group in that starting structure. In order to get to that point, you have to put the protons in the right place. The initial product from the nucleophile addition has a proton on the oxygen that originated from the water molecule. But it's in the wrong place. It's relevant to the reverse direction, not the hydrolysis reaction. There's a deprotonation and then a reprotonation at the group which is later going to be removed. Many other positions in that molecule have lone pairs. There could be many other possible protonations. But it is this one which uniquely prepares for the final stages of the mechanism through to the carboxylic acid. Then the neighboring heteroatom with its lone pair providing the activation and driving force to help this carbon to oxygen bond break. The structure to which the electrons are being transferred is in this intermediate, an O plus center, so it's easy to receive electrons. It gets all the electrons which in the structure are shared in that carbon oxygen bond. The carbon oxygen bond breaks in that process. You can see the mechanism showing that. So the alcohol now is detached and we're left with a structure which is almost the carboxylic acid. It has one too many protons. And so that structure finally will deprotonate to produce the carboxylic acid. I'd just like to emphasize in this example, the water is used as the reagent, but the acid is used as a catalytic amount. You use a proton here, but you get one back. You use a proton here, but you get one back in that final deprotonation step. So it's catalytic in, with respect to the use of the protons. 